Good evening and welcome back to the channel Carl Smith Loves Travelling and Sightseeing. Now I went on to this website earlier, the Dubrovnik Pass, and there's obviously a few alterations been put on as well as information. Um so at the moment it it's still showing what days the museums and art galleries are closed. Um and of course if you have a Dubrovnik pass when you go to Dubrovnik, either the one, three or seven day one, it says it's activated by picking up a bus ticket for public transport. So when you get a bus ticket from the Libertas bus ticket office at the Pila Gate, if you've if you've bought the Dubrovnik pass online, which you have to do, there's a QR code. When the bus ticket person scans the QR code, it activates your pass. Um, obviously they give you a bus card, which is basically a bus ticket and it's got on it whichever um, hours of bus ride you've got. If you've got the one day pass it will say 24 hours, if you buy the three day one it will say 72 hours and if you buy the seven day one it will have 168 hours. So once they scan that QR code and you say I've got the Dubrovnik pass and they scan your QR code and they give you a bus card, your pass is activated. Which means you then use it in the museums, on the city walls, um, and in shops and restaurants. So because it's September, one of the notices they've put on is on this Friday. Any that are in Dubrovnik this week, the Dubrovnik Art Gallery is open from 9 to half 5. Um, you can visit the Reverend Fortress, except Wednesday 9 to 4. And the Fort St Lawrence from this Sunday, it says it's open till three o'clock usually it's open till five to six o'clock at night but they're obviously closing it early for some reason it's just on sunday this weekend just going down now to the pass um because i just want to show you something when i last did this video this information wasn't on so they're still the same price the daily pass is 35 euro three day pass is 45 and the seven day is 55 on all three of them, you can use it on the city walls, the Rector's Palace, the Maritime Museum, the Ethnographic Museum, the Marin Visit House, the Brovnik Natural History Museum, the Friars Minor Francesca Monastery Museum, art galleries, etc. And there's your bus ticket. So you get 24 hour one with a one day pass, 72 hours, which is three days, and 168 if you're there for a week or more. The one I've got to buy is this one. A seven day pass because obviously as I said on my last video yesterday I'm now checked in for my holiday um, and I've printed all the documents off so I need to pay this amount to get a pass which works out at about 45 quid and then what will happen then is <clears throat> I'll get an email which will have a QR code on it and I then print that off or show it on my phone when I go to the ticket office on the Tuesday afternoon, when I go into the Dubrovnik Old Town after getting to the hotel, they will they will scan the QR code if I give the, the pass over. But I'm not going to activate my pass until the Thursday. Um, <clears throat> because otherwise if I activate it on the Tuesday, it will only be valid till the next Tuesday. Whereas if I do it on the Thursday, it will be valid till the following Thursday. And I'd rather do that because I've got trips planned for at least four days of my holiday. Because the Wednesday I've got Elafiti Islands and Sunset Cruise on Caraca. I want to have the Thursday free. So Tuesday afternoon I will go down to the old town, do the city walls. And take videos and photos on that initial visit. When I do the walls again before going home, I'm not going to do as many videos. Um, photographs possibly, but videos no. Because there's no point me doing videos on my second and third visit on the walls. Because it will be exactly the same. So there's no point. So it will just be one lot of video footage. Maybe the occasional video. <clears throat> um, so on the Wednesday I've got the Alafiti Islands. Thursday I'll have a day off to go into Dubrovnik. And I will activate the pass then. And then over the weekend, Friday to Monday. I will do trips to Kotor, Ston, <clears throat> Korchula, Parast, Montenegro and Bosnia etc. <clears throat> so those trips will be done over that weekend. And then obviously the rest of the week I will, I'll be able to go and visit these museums. And use the bus ticket and obviously go up on the cable car, which I'll do probably Tuesday as well. 
do a sunset one and then I'll do a normal daytime one but I will use the pass from the Thursday onwards and then I can activate the bus ticket which will last me till the following Thursday but I will get a few more bus tickets from the shop near the Peeler Gate stop so, um, just to use on the Tuesday the Wednesday night and then the Thursday going down to the Brovnik and then I can activate the pass so this is the latest information regarding the pass so you go on to brovnikpass.com I'm going to put the web link underneath this video so that you can access it yourselves um, but you have to buy the pass online because I remember going into the travel at the tourist information place I mean near the Pilegate bus stop and they said you have to buy it online now so you have to buy prior to going you can buy it while you're there if your hotel which most of hotels have got Wi-Fi even in the old town they've got Wi-Fi most cafes and restaurants have got Wi-Fi so you can download it then but it's best to actually buy it before you go out to Dubrovnik so you've already got it to activate when you get there so that's the latest information so it's dubrovnikpass.com and then it gives you all the information there about the museums what's included the shop etc where you can buy it. it used to buy it in hotels but now this will just explain about what shops you can use it in how it works and it, the discounts on restaurants um, which and you can also get discounts in shops as well so that's where you that's where you can find out your different discounts food and drink Dubrovnik at night day trips shopping adventures so and if you want to do the sightseeing bus with your pass, you get 30% discount. Um, if you want to do a boat trip, it's 20% discount there. If you want to do a walking tour, it's 10% there and 20% on this one. Um, if you want to go for something to eat, you've got these discounts here as well on restaurants. I generally go to the Taj Mahal Bosnian one in the old town. You get 10%. There's also a Taj Mahal at the Hotel Lero, so you get exactly the same. Um, but I generally go to the one in the town. It's lovely food, um, Bosnian food. You can go to Mia Culpa. Um, you can even go to the Panorama restaurant as well. Um, this one is near the Coppen. If you go to the top of the Spanish Steps, the Game of Thrones walk, and, walk of Shame Steps, that's that church which is next door. The Coppen is just here. Um, if you stay in down the Banji Beach end, there's a restaurant there. You get 10% off of your pass as well. Um, and then you can go to this Tuta Bain place, which is a pizza area. They've got one at Lapad, and they've also got one in the Old Town. And there's a Marco Polo restaurant in Dubrovnik Old Town, and you get 10% as well, as long as you've got your pass. This one here is near the Peelagate entrance, but it's also the one with the arches in the marina at the Old Town, and also at the top of the cable car. So use that um, if you want to use your pass for, this is the one actually, the Arsenal. That's the one with the arches in the Old Town. So you get you get um ten percent off with that as well. If you want Spanish tapas, you can go to that tapas bar. Um <clears throat> that's near the marina where you get the boat for the um Lockham Island, which normally picks you up just here. If you want to go shopping, it tells you which shops you can use the um the pass in as well. Um if you want to go on a day trip out, there are the trips you can do. You can go on the Caraca, get ten percent. Um, the Tirana um, and then obviously you can do these other trips and the co-tours as well so <clears throat> that's one you can do so there's plenty of things to do so just click on the discounts button there and it will put up this information and then if you want to find out any more you go to how it works and it will tell you the different questions where you can buy it generally you have to buy it at, online um, and it just explains where you can pick your bus ticket up. So it's this one here, the Peeler Gate. Um, Libertas Dubrovnik is the website which puts up all the bus times, etc. So that just explains about it really. So I thought I'd share this update with you. So thank you for watching and good evening.